Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I know what you're thinking. Wow, Kaylee, your hair. You look like Beyonce. You look like boho chic. You look like an Australian surfer babe. Guys, I know, I know. And guess what? You can have this hair too. And literally in the most laziest way possible, I cannot stress. Don't believe me? Then just keep on watching. I ain't no liar. That was pathetic. We're getting there. So step number one on how to be a lazy but still hopefully look semi-decent. This plait, yes, in all its magnificent glory. I slept in this last night. Yep. I slept in it. So I washed the grue again last night. I dried the top section of it because I have hair extensions and we do not want matted hair. I have a full video all about my hair extensions already on my channel. I'll leave that down below because I do not want to bore you. Okay, let's go. So after drying said hair, I put it in said plait and I just slept in it. Literally, I just slept in it. So now you may be asking, Kelly, this is just a fucking plait. Why are you doing a story about it? Because, listen, there is a reason. This plait, you want to make sure you don't pull the hair too tight. Like as you can see, it's so messy, but it is actually quite loose. And at the bottom, I left out a good amount of hair. That is important. You don't want to do the plait the whole way down to the bottom because it just looks weird. If you want to go for that beachy, I woke up like this kind of vibes. <clears throat> just do what I say. <laughs> Step number two. You're gonna need a wand. Mine is absolutely covered in makeup because what is new? This is a Diva Professional Styling 1932 millimeter wand. This is the only thing I curl my hair with, whatever, all that kind of crap. Okay, wand is ready. Let's turn this on and not burn ourselves. I don't really care for brushing my hair. I did that before I put it in the plant. You don't want to do it after the plant because it's just going to make your hair look high grid. Like, that's not the vibe I'm going for today. Okay, so now we have this messy plant. I parted it in the middle because whatever. We're going to take out the plant. <gasps> Shock. Bet you didn't see that coming. So, just a normal plant, not a French braid. I'll explain why in a second. And this is literally what you end up with. These beachy waves. How easy was that? The reason I don't do a French plait is because that will curl the top of your hair here and it looks more natural or beachy if it's just the bottom that is. Now, some of you may be saying, Kaylee, I do this and my hair does not turn out like this. Well, do not fret. The reason probably is if you're ending up with like ringlets or everything looks a little bit too perfect, you're pulling the plait too tight and you're probably not leaving enough of the ends out at the bottom. See, like so. Oh, my hair is a little bit wet still. That's inconvenient. Rude. So that's what it looks like on bottom. Now, as you can see on top, I look a little bit flat, weird looking. That's where this boy comes into it. So I just use this then to randomly pick at different areas and just create a little bit more of a curl. Especially here at the front when I want my hair to kind of curl away from my face. See, like so. You want to make sure you have big gaps in between the curls and leave the end part out. Now, I had to hold that too long because I was talking to you, but that's too aggressive. We don't want that. We want just a little... Oh, I ruined it. Watch, I show you on this side. <gasps> gaps, long part at the end, and whoosh. <gasps> What is that? What is that? Wow, this tutorial is going swimmingly. If they come out too curly, don't worry. They will drop, so it's fine. But you literally only need to hold it for like three seconds. Three seconds exactly. No more or else you have failed. No less or else you've also failed. There's literally no rhyme or reason to this whatsoever. I'm just doing it. Whatever feels best, you know, whatever goes with my mood. So in Desi's video, I know she just just did this technique the whole way around her head which is absolutely fine and it looked absolutely flawless on her but again I'm lazy it definitely looks a lot more like perfectly curled whenever she does it she just makes it look so perfect and I just don't have time for that it would take me a lot longer than it takes her I also just get my fingers and just like <sighs> go through it and kind of like tease it up a little bit with this look 
the messier, the better. This has messed up on me. I used to hate wearing my hair so flat to my face, but I've been loving it recently, and you all seem to be loving it. You supportive people. It just looks a little bit crazy because I'm wearing so much eye makeup, I feel like it just like closes in my face. And because my eyelashes are so big, it makes them like really droopy. This is inconvenient. This is rude. Okay. That is literally the finished tutorial. That is literally all I have been doing. Maybe a little bit of hairspray. And what's great about this look is that it actually looks better the longer you wear it. And whenever you're going to bed at night, just stick your hair in a low plait and you're ready to go again tomorrow. Laziness at its finest. So even now it does look a little bit ringletty still, but that literally goes in no time. There you have it, just like that. You are an Australian surfer, babe. You are boho chic. You are Beyonce. Wear this hairstyle and that's what you'll be. Big promises, but I have delivered. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. I hope you walk around with your amazing beachy curls for the rest of your life and think of me. I hope this has changed your life. I hope you are significantly better looking from this. And yeah, that's all from me, I guess. Tutorial for this look is up on my channel already. I will leave the links down below subscribe and hit that notification bell and hit that like button to show your appreciation. I have clearly worked very hard for this video. I have been sitting here for numerous hours filming this exact tutorial for you guys. You know what to do. Don't be rude and hopefully I will see you in my next video if you're lucky. Bye bye